Step 1. Roughly carve out your XPS foam into the desired shapes. I use a serrated knife so it gives the foam a more rough look, but that isn't really necessary. Step 2. Use a heat source to form the depths of each pool. I'm using a kitchen torch here, but barbecue style lighters, candles, and heat guns all do the job as well. Step 3. Paint it black. I'm just using house paint for this protective undercoat. Some people use black craft paint mixed with PVA glue or Mod Podge, and that's perfectly fine to do as well. Step 4. Paint it up in your desired color scheme. In this video, I'm working on some pools with a greenish hue to them, as well as some blue colored pools. The green pools are going to look like they have some sort of algae growing in the bottom, while the blue pools are going to look sort of like deep mineral pools. Both are great options for getting that crystal clear looking water. Step 5. Time to mix up some clear resin. I'm using Amazing Clearcast. It's both affordable and I've always had great results with that brand on a regular basis. Step 6. Mix the resin according to the instructions. This resin is mixed in a 1 to 1 volume ratio, so it's important not to use a scale as each part weighs different. Also, make sure to follow any sort of safety protocol outlined in the instructions of the box, as resin really can be dangerous to your health, so be careful. Step 7. I mix this for 3 minutes. Speed doesn't matter as much as thoroughness matters. Mixing steadily will cause less bubbling. Make sure to scrape the sides and the bottom of the mixing container regularly. After mixing, I like to give the container just some small little shakes. This is going to help us pop some of the bubbles even before we do the pour. Step 9. Then, I slowly pour the epoxy into the pools. I pour slowly and steadily, with a little height. I also pour from the outer rims of the pool and let the resin just settle where it wants to. These things are also going to help us prevent some bubbling. Step 10. After the pour, I let everything sit for a few minutes, just to let everything settle into place. And then I go over it quickly with a flame to pop any lingering bubbles. Note that I'm not using my kitchen torch with this because that can actually add a few extra bubbles because the styrofoam underneath the resin can melt a little bit and release a little chemical reaction. So don't do that, just use one of these barbecue lighters. You may need to let it sit for 5 more minutes or so and then repeat this step. Just go back and check on it, see if it's bubbly or not. You should be able to get most of the bubbles out with this method. Step 11. Let it sit overnight. You should wake up to some crystal clear pools of water, which is what we're going for in this tutorial. So, good luck!